Hello and welcome to Stay Home Church, our devotional series where we aim to keep you encouraged, connected with the Word of God and connected with each other during the lockdown in South Africa. We've been sticking in Matthew 16 over the last few days and today we're going to finish on it. I'm going to get right into the text. I'm reading from Matthew 16 verse 13. When Jesus came to the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do the people say the Son of Man is? They replied, Some say John the Baptist, others say Elijah, and still others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. But what about you? he asked. Who do you say I am? Simon Peter answered, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus replied, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah. For this was not revealed to you by man, but by my Father in heaven. And I tell you that you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades will not overcome it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. So again, just a bit of recap. We focused in our last few devotionals on what Peter's confession meant, and that it meant that Jesus is at once 100% man and 100% God. Then we looked at some of the application of that, and that means that in his humanity, Jesus deals with our shame, and in his deity, Jesus deals with our guilt. And yesterday we looked at what it means to be blessed, because Jesus says that Peter is blessed, and we also looked at what it means to be part of the church of God that he is building. Today we're going to focus on the last verse, verse 19. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. And that verb is actually a little bit funny because another way that it can also be correctly translated is like this. And I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth will have been bound in heaven. And whatever you loose on earth will have been loosed on, in heaven. And uh, so the emphasis really here is not about doing something on earth and it reflecting in heaven, but rather about being part of the kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven, and bringing the kingdom of heaven back down to earth. And this is what Jesus is saying. It's about authority, because when he talks about the keys of the kingdom of heaven, keys is a picture of authority. And so Jesus is saying, if you have this revelation firmly laid in your life, if you uh, add faith to this, if you practice faith in Jesus Christ, the cornerstone, what's going to happen naturally out of that is you will get authority to make earth look more like heaven, to make it on earth as it is in heaven, to live in such a way that you bring heaven to earth. That's a fantastic task to do. That's a fantastic thing to do, to make earth appear more like heaven. Have you heard that before? Remember when we looked at Matthew 6 and we looked at the way Jesus teaches his disciples to pray? And he says, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Let it be on earth as it is in heaven. And we are joining the same task, the same mission. This is not about trying to do it in your own strength. This is about exercising faith in Jesus Christ, the cornerstone. And around you, you will see that this is starting to happen more and more. The question I want to leave you with, the question that this uh, passage really asks of, of us, is the question that Jesus asks, it, asks his disciples. But what about you, he said, who do you say that I am? And I want to ask you that question. Who do you say Jesus is? But more importantly, what does your life say about Jesus? Does your life say that Jesus is man? And as man, he has dealt with your shame. Do you live in ever increasing degrees uh, degrees of decreasing shame? Does your life say that Jesus has dealt with your guilt, has paid for your sin, has forgiven your sin? Does your life say that you are living in an ever increasing authority where you are around you establishing what heaven is like? Think about that. Pray about that and ask God <clears throat> to lay that cornerstone firmly in your life.